Leah. Leah. Yes. It's here. Yep. There it is. Did you see it? Yeah. Ooh wee. Look at that. Oh man, is it running? Where are the lights on? Oh man. Did I not do a good job specking that all out? Did I not do a good job? Oh, you don't look impressed. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What's wrong with that snorkel? That's so we can drive in water. Nothing's changed with you. No, no, just, well, oh, good. Oh man, let's check it out. OCD saving the day. Man, it looks good. Is it running? Okay, yeah. Um, oh man, it looks good. Yeah, they thought I was nuts when I said four inch lift on 35s, but I think it turned out great. Turned out really good. Yeah. Front, it looks pretty menacing. Does it? Yeah. No, no problems loading it, I guess? No. No. You don't even need those ramps. It's got so, so much. Weight. Yeah, it's like the Hummer, hey? Is this the trailer we loaded the Hummer on? Yeah. yeah? Oh man, good, good. One second guys, we'll be right back. I just wanna show you a cool product. It's important to thank the sponsors and the people who make things continue to go. Today's sponsor, boom. What cooler than having a 4K backup camera that's capable of also being a dash cam. These cameras come in 4K and 5K with and without forward facing cameras. So that's without the forward facing camera, with the forward facing camera. Super easy to install, clamps right onto the back of your original OEM rear view mirror, capable of having GPS in it. You have your camera on it, forward and reverse. Super easy to install, 10 out of 10 recommend. Also comes with all of the hardware you need to install it and make everything possible so it keeps on going. And a nice, ready to go, easy to install harness with full instructions. Link below for discount. Make sure you guys check it out in the description. Oh man. Casey, I can't wait to take it off roading now. So this, for those wondering, I picked up, this is a 22 Colorado Bison ZR2. Uh, we added the snorkel, the four inch lift and 35s. I wanna give a huge shout out to Sherwood Park Chev for putting this together and actually making it possible. Um, I couldn't have done it without Cam there. Shout out to Cam, shout out to Scott Frost, uh, Paul Bissett, um, all for making this reality because uh, Without you, this would not be here. So huge thank you guys. Um, I think now it's time to take it off-roading and see what we can do. So the bison, for those wondering, comes with the action everywhere. And there should be this big skid plates everywhere underneath it. So you can see it on the differential, all along all the transfer case, front. And uh, yeah, I am uh, definitely pumped for this. The downside is I probably won't be driving it for a bit. It's also got all the tow hooks on the back bumper on the bison and uh, all the adjustable suspension. Yeah, definitely came out good. Um, they did mention there is some wheel rub on full crank on the tie rods, oh yeah, right there. So I'll have to uh, put on a quarter inch wheel spacer, but that's it, we're gonna get it unloaded and I think we're gonna get Dawn here and we're gonna go off-roading. Oh, well, that's my truck. Of truth. <clears throat> well, he's, he's, it's not actually a moment of truth. It's it's not a moment of truth You're at all. Just actually. excited to have it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. No, you can't drive it. Um, so is this my did, did you bring a key with you when you came outside? For what? To get back in the building? Nope. Oh. Okay. At least you're really pretty today. Thank you. Look at it. It's the quietest vehicle I've ever owned. It's crazy how it doesn't look steep in the video, but it's actually really steep. Ramping. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't look it. Yeah, the tires are back there too. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Good. Yeah, looks really good. Oh man. Wait, can you say oh man? No. Oh man. Ridiculous. You look ridiculous. I'll put a snorkel on you next. No. <laughs> I what thought terrible. it looked pretty cool in the rear view mirror the whole time. Yeah, see? <laughs> what a terrible decision. <laughs> awesome. I think it's awesome how much clearance it actually got. Yeah, he thinks it's awesome. It's fu functional. Functional. Well, I know that I don't have the most popular decision. Yeah. So I actually don't have a license right now. 
Um, but we're on private property. I own this property. We're doing like two kilometers an hour, so we're gonna drive this thing. My wife's not too impressed, but you know what? New truck, new day. Let's check it out. Ooh, -wee, look at this big step in. Oh, I hurt my butt doing that. Oh man, it feels good to be back in Colorado. I sure love these things. My last one was actually a diesel, and that was one thing I really disliked about it. But this feels good. Oh man. And again, shout out to my boy David at Sherwood Motor Cars, not Sherwood Park Chev. Don't confuse the two. Always buying my wife gifts. Unreal. Check this out. Strapped in for safety, David has included for my wife a bottle of wine and a Christmas bag. What a beauty. It's a few months after Christmas, but that's why we love you. Wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 look. Look. David from Sherwood Motor Cars, not to be mistaken with Sherwood Park Chev, always taking care of you. Happy wife, happy life. What a Thank beauty. You. David at Thank Sherwood Motor Cars. David. He's so kind the Motor Cars of family always taking care of us. They're good people. Right? They're always. So nice. what do, now, what do you think of the Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition and its natural environment right now? What do you think? Actually, it looks really nice. You could be the first person, other than me, Casey, David, and Cam, and Paul Bissett, and Scott Frost, to sit in it. Like the first female? First female, I guess. Yeah, oh maybe. My gosh. It's a bit of a jump, a bit of a jump. Oh, yank yeah, on my steering wheel. All right. Hey? You know what, this is really nice. It is really nice, isn't it? I don't like this snorkel. Why did you put a snorkel on? In case I want to submerge it in water, why else? I put a periscope on it, given the opportunity. <laughs> um, this is really nice, actually. It I is. I the color looks better in person than it did on your phone. I agree, it actually, I, I mean, I didn't mind it on my phone, but it does look really cool. It is really nice. They did a good job. How safe would you feel in a snowstorm in that truck? Like in a regular snowstorm? Fine. Yeah. Off-roading? With you? Yeah. No. no. With my book and a coffee. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. I'm excited because I liked my last one, but it was diesel. And I kept having death problems in the winter. Well, this isn't diesel. It's gas. 120 kilometers on it. Your Tesla had 60 when we got it, so you got me there. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, front and rear lockers. Everything's ready to go. I'm so excited. Now, wait, before we go, in case you're wondering, just in case you're wondering, this truck in stock form looks like that right there. You almost can't compare the two. So this is a Colorado non-ZR2, but it is the, uh, the Z71. So, bit of a difference, eh? You know, you're on your phone, you're not even looking. I'm gonna do it right now. Don? Yes. I left you alone for five minutes. Yeah, what? but see, this is Don's life thought. You just needed to give it some personality. Okay, are we gonna take this out and jump it? If there's a jump there, we might as well hit it. Might as well hit it, yeah. Shocks, pegs, lucky. You know what movie that is? Can't Napoleon Dynamite. It's a sledgehammer. Dang. You got shocks, pegs, Lucky, you ever take it off any sweet jumps? You, uh, you see these are the locker buttons here? Yeah. So if shit gets crazy, that's what we're gonna do right there. No, we're not gonna need them. We're not gonna need them. Don, you got boots, gloves, shovel, are you planning on getting stuck today? Come prepared. With you, I have to be. <laughs> Always prepared, good stuff. I don't think many people make it through this trail because there's a lot of shovel marks. But we're... Where's the cruise control? <laughs> right, like, it's just started driving. <laughs> Effortless. We can just turn around right up here. That was uh, a little too easy. Just my host over there. Where that goes? Think we can do it? I think so. Yeah. Not, 
the approach angles on this thing are crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you look good. You can even go on whatever that goes. It like a frozen lake. Yeah, it does look like a frozen lake, doesn't it? Dawn's gonna go scout. Yeah. We're gonna try and go up that. It looks pretty slippery and pretty steep. And a truck with 177 kilometers on it. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. But you have a little bit of grass uh, in your suspension. A little bit of grass in the suspension, yeah. Yeah, I need um, a ladder to get in here. Yeah, you pretty much do. I'd encourage you probably to put it in four low and use both lockers to get up that. The problem is you're not gonna be able to turn when you get up there. But you can try it and just rear locker first. You want to try just four high first? Yeah, just try four high with, keep the rear locker on, I bet. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's give it a go. I'll stop this time. Let her get in. Yeah, for sure. It's a problem, Don. It's easy. So when I post this video, it's going to be called, most likely, From the Showroom to the Trails. That'll be on your channel. Yes. Yeah, and how many kilometers are on this truck now? Showroom kilometers, 178. 178, it's a brand new truck. Yeah, I basically drove it from your shop at around 172 or something. Yeah. <laughs> so it's broken in. It's broken in, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go bag it some more. Okay. Should tr try and climb that over there, Don, that dirt thing. dirt thing. That doesn't look steep in my camera, but it actually is very steep. Yeah, let's do it. It's, it's got 178K, it's time to get it dirty. Broken? Yeah. Okay, with the... Just don't roll it. <laughs> yeah. You want to go right up the middle here? Right up the middle, right there, yeah. Okay, no uh, four load, just rear locker? Yeah, just try it first with the rear locker. We can always come back down and take another run. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. My Hummer couldn't get up it, but there was a lot more snow. What? That was like nothing. That was easy. Super easy. Like effortless easy. Wow, okay. Well. All right, well, so there's that. All right, let's go down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, here we oh, go. Oh, she's deep. It's deeper than I thought. <laughs> she's deep, boys. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is the one. You're hitting the bumper on this one. Nope. Nope, no problem. Oh, keep it on it, darling. Keep on it. Don't let it off. It's floored. It's floored. You're floored. Keep going. Oh yeah. Oh, we, I can't believe we got through that. We got through there. Amazing. Amazing. I gotta get me one of these. Yeah. How, look? How deep is that going? Look, <laughs> yeah, look at it. That was good. I think overall that went really well. Really well. Yeah. I had a pee. Yeah. Well done, we went way past where we did last time. Yeah, our trucks would have been stuck. There's no way our trucks are getting through that at all. All right, now we're back on the beaten path. Oh, they got, there's a Greyhound over there. Cool. That, uh, well, let's keep going, that was easy, yeah. Let's uh the big hills are that way. Okay. So um I'll pull it up on Google Map here. Just to be sure. Matt, do you want to get
the last front yet. Yeah, they did. They took them off though. All right, let's see it on. Oh, this is fun. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so easy. Easy. That was no problem at all. Oh, that was so easy. My Hummer struggled more than that. Totally. Oh, let's go back up. Okay, let's go the other way. My guy. Heck yeah. That did so good. That was awesome. How deep do you think that was? Uh, I, I can't. I'd have to see the footage. I yeah. really don't know. But your ABS light's on. It's supposed to be on. It's a new oh, truck. Yeah. It's supposed to be on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we can clear that code. Yeah. I want to shop. Like, what, what do you think? Yeah. That's no, good. Cool. Well, that was, uh, does it, like, it never looks steep in a camera. You know? No, no, the camera never tells the story. No, especially the wide angle. Well, that's it, guys. We're gonna head back to the shop and uh, drop this off, give it a rinse. That's just the taste of what I plan on doing with this thing throughout the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. You just wanna give a shout out to David at Sherwood Motor Cars there? Or? David, thank you so much for giving me a bottle of wine. And why do we have the bottle of wine? Because you bought a truck, so thank God. I didn't even buy a truck, they gave the truck away. It's true. Yeah, so. <laughs> there you go. And you're just gonna put that in the fridge? Put that in the fridge and take the bottle with you? Or? No, you don't put that in the fridge. Oh, that's my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, you just put your cork there. Hey, listen, I've had a big day. I'm gonna go for a nap. Enjoy your nap. Thanks, Thanks. again, David.